Start with the name of Allah's most merciful and beneficent, Lord of all the creatures, human and earth. Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum. I'm your friend, Ali Ahmad Mirchad. You are watching Civil Engineering Lecture Series. Dear friends, today's subject of our lecture is Building Materials and topic of our lecture is Defects in Timber. These defects are mostly of two types, those developed during the growth of tree and those developed after the tree has fell. Below are the discuss both these defects in detail. The defects developed during the growth of tree are star shakes, heart shakes, cup shakes, twisted fibers, ringles, upsets, notes, foxiness, dotiness, droxiness, and coarse grins. Defects developed after the tree has been has been failed, or uh, these are also called the diseases of the timber, are dry rot and wet rot. First, we would like to discuss the star shakes. These are radial spills, wider on the surface of tree, and becomes narrower as they move towards the center. They are caused by severe frost or by severe heat of sun you can see the picture it is like the star that's why we call it star shakes the heart shakes these are white spills running right through the hurt wood of tree these spills radiate from the path running towards the sapwood from hurt to the outer outer part these are caused by the shrinkage of interior parts or by decay because of accumulated mixture you can see the picture in picture it's very clear that the shakes start from the center to the safe wood cup shakes these are curved spills Separating one annual ring from adjacent one either wholly or partially. These are caused by strong winds swaying the tree and by excessive frost action action on the moisture present in the tree, especially while it is still young. Supply of excessive moisture by the roots or shrinkage of shrinkage of lightning or by freezing of frost during the uh, ascent may also cause this effect these are the twisted fibers fibers are twisted by strong winds turning the tree constantly in one direction trees in exposed exposed positions or on hill tops are most affected ring gales you can see in a picture the ring gale it's also the one of the defects of the timber these are peculiar swellings caused generally by the growth of layers of sapwood over bounds remaining after the uh, branch of tree has been imperfectly cut off the new layer uh, do not unite properly with the bow with the uh, with the old root thereby leaving cavities where it starts the decay that's the point upsets in this defect during the growth of tree, fibers are sometimes injured due to crushing resulting in the in the breakage of continuity of fiber that is actually the upset in a fiber. Notes. Notice either a root of a branch that is embedded in the stem with formation of annual rings at right angle to those in the stem those of the steam or the tissue set in elliptical or concentric circles these notes are of two classes or two types dead and the live dead and not dead uh, and not is also called loose note and the live note is called the sound note when they when we uh, when the knot can be separated from the body of the wood, it is known as the dead knot. Because of burning up or decay of outer tissue, this type of knot 
becomes loose and falls out. Live kind, live notes, live kind of notes are firmly attached to timber and cannot be separated. It's hard to work upon a note, and it remains rough even after pl planning. A live note is not a serious defect; only it reduces the strength of timber a little. It's hard to plan. Timber with too many notes or with loose notes should not be used for structural purposes. The defect is foxiness. It is because of the presence of uh, it's because of uh, uh, the bed, bed ventilation and uh, uh, the pres uh, the presence of reddish or yellowish stains uh, show the uh, decay of the timber and and that the cause of it is the uh, ventilation which is the bed ventilation so foxiness appears to be because of the ven bed ventilation dantiness it is a speckled stain found in some timbers uh, indicating the beginning of decay of timber it too is caused by either over maturity of timber or by bad ventilation of place where it is it is being stored so it is different from the foxiness it's not the foxiness because the foxiness uh, is caused by the bed ventilation only while the dirtiness uh, is caused by the ventilation bed ventilation as well as the over maturity of the timber Druxiness. Druxiness is the defect it is the presence of whitish spores on the timber or streaks in the timber indicating uh, early decay because of the droxiness. These are the other defects. Last one is the coarse grains. Timber having very wide annual rings because of rapid growth of trees are said to have coarse grains. This wood is not durable and is deficient in its strength. Dear friends, thank you very much for watching this video. For uh, next video, you must Subscribe my channel, which is Civil Engineering Lecture Series. So uh, you subscribe it and uh, click the bell icon so that you receive notification of my latest and upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Uh,